Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will discuss connect on-prem network to Azure and I will try to explain the architecture behind it. Let me just quickly pull up my whiteboard. All right, back to the whiteboard. Okay, now if you uh, just create a diagram here, right? So one way that you can connect your on-prem network to Azure is through VPN connection. So a VPN gateway is a type of virtual network gateway that sends encrypted traffic between an Azure virtual network and an on-premise solution. The encrypted traffic goes over the public internet. Now this architecture is suitable for hybrid applications where the traffic between on-prem hardware and the cloud is likely to be light. Or you're willing to trade slightly extended lit. How does it, it is configured. Now let's say this is on-prem site one. Okay. And this is your on-prem site. site one uh, site one and this is site two now we will have VPN virtual IP as well for both of these sites. Now it is connected in this way. One is and I'll make one arrow here. Let's say the VPN VPN virtual IP. Okay, and this is also will be VPN virtual IP. Let's say the VPN virtual IP is one three three nine dot nine dot nine dot nine here it is one twenty eight dot eight dot eight dot eight and this is an IPsec tunnel okay a VPN tunnel and this is IPsec I K E site to site VPN tunnel. All right, and I connect it like this, and this is the virtual VPN IP or VPN virtual IP which is your, for example, 1131.1.1.1. And this is your VPN gateway. All right, and here, this is Azure. I'll just enter the box here like this and in here I have vnet1 of US West region let's say the IP here is 10 20 0 dot 0 slash 16 in here also it is 10 0.0 slash 16. All right. Now, the benefits of using this architecture is that it is simple to configure. It is high, it has high aggregate bandwidth up to 10 Gbps. Okay. And it also depends upon the VPN gateway SKU, but there are some challenges. It requires an on-prem VPN device. 
you see this VPN gateway here, it would not work if you do not have an on-prem VPN device. Okay. And there are some documentation available that although Microsoft guarantees 99.9% .9 availability for each VPN gateway, this SLA only covers the VPN gateway and not the on-prem network connection to the gateway. Okay. Now the second picture well, the second example is your Azure Express route connection. Okay. Because how it will differ is, I will save this and come back. Okay, I'm back. Now, one is the Azure Express route connection. Express route connections use a private dedicated connection through a third party connectivity provider. The private connection extends your on-premise network in Azure. Okay. Now, how does that work? You have a customer's network or your on-prem network here. All right. You have a partner edge. In between and then you have an express out circuit all right it has one primary connection and it has one secondary connection and then in here you have the Microsoft Edge and from here it has a connection to go to office. It has a connection to go to Azure. Now let's say this is your VM. This is your network. Okay. Now, the benefits are it has high bandwidth available. Also, it depends upon the connectivity provider. It has lower uh, latencies. It supports dynamic scaling of bandwidth. It allows your organization direct access to the national clouds. And it has 99.9% .9 availability SLA across the entire connection. The challenges are that it's a bit complex to set up cre because creating an express route connection requires working with a third party connectivity provider. And then uh, you also have express route with VPN failover. Now, this, this third option, what it does is that it combines these two options, VPN gateway and express route option. Because what it would do is it would use express route in normal conditions, but fail over to a VPN connection if there is a loss of connectivity in the express route circuit. Now, this is also suitable for hybrid application that need the high bandwidth of express route and also require highly available network connectivity okay okay this is what i wanted to explain when it comes to a very basic how to connect an on-premise network to architecture the architecture about it like how to draw the diagram what are the components involved now if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.